Hey Tires, Darren here, back with another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying my silkworm coronamid. This is a pattern that I developed when I was living in Edmonton and developed specifically for the pothole lakes in and around the area. I've used a light colored UniGlow product. So this is supposed to glow in the dark a little bit. It uh, does glow a little bit, but it needs to be charged. So if you're not fishing, uh, you should leave your fly box open so that the light gets charged and only lasts for a couple minutes but it really helps in those dark stained waters if they're tannin stained or stained with a little bit of silt or down a little bit deeper this just uh, differentiates your fly from some of the other food sources so I tie this in a number of colors the blue is the one I started with and the one I've had the most success with but I've also done the other colors which uni carries and those are the yellow, the pink, the orange, the white, and the green. So let's have a look at the material list and get started tying this fly. All right, let's get a fresh hook in the vise. We're gonna use a Mustad signature C49S. And the bead I'm using, it's just a pure white bead. We're gonna be using a Peacock Blue Ultra Thread. And this is a 140 denier. And we'll just start by Putting a little bit of thread right behind the bead. Not going to take it all the way here yet. And then the first thing we're going to tie on is a little bit of fine copper wire. So we're just going to snug that under the bead here. A couple wraps. And then we're going to take a little bit of this. Uh, Uniglow product. So this is the light blue. I'm not sure if it comes in different sizes. This is a number 12. I've got some other ones. They say they're number 12, but they're definitely thinner. So we'll tie this on at the head. I used to tie this with different colored thread. I don't know that it makes too much of a difference, but I like to match the color of thread to the color of the uniglue I'm using. So we just tied that down to the bend and then back up just behind the bead. Just going to secure that wire in place here. And we're just going to wind up this uniglue. And I like to make a double layer so we'll just Instead of going up and back, we're just going to double up as we wrap. So every wrap we make sure we get at least half over the previous layer. And then we get a nice thick wrap of uh, the Uniglo here. I'm just going to wrap that off. Make sure you go on both sides of that. Trim off the excess. And then we're going to wrap up with the fine copper wire. You just want to do open loops with this just to give some segmentation to the, to the fly body. And then we're going to go on both sides of the wire just to make sure it's locked in place before we helicopter it off. And now I'm just going to take a minute just to reinforce this. I just got some hard as nails. So we're just going to put a little bit on the body. And you just have to be careful when you're handling it because it's going to be wet. But it's easier to do it now than it is to do it after you put on the thorax. So I just got two peacock curls. 
that I took off a stem. I'm just going to trim the bottom. I'm just going to insert the tag ends into, into the bead here. A couple wraps of thread. Then we're just going to start at the back and then wind forward. I like to get that fairly thick. And we just want to make sure that we go on both sides of the peacock, make sure it's locked in place. Trim that. And then we just add a whip finish. And you just want to make sure you snug that against the bead. You don't want to put too many thread wraps in there because your thread will show from behind the peacock if you put too much in there. So there you go. That's my silkworm coronamid. Thanks for stopping by my fly tying channel and watching my tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.